So today I want to teach you how to get the perfect white background. That's what we refer to as high key in the pro world. Perfect white, which means no detail in the background. It's an equation. It's exactly the same as a chef cooking a souffle. You wouldn't change the temperature of the oven, you wouldn't change the ingredients because there's no guarantee it's going to come out right. With high key photography, what I'm going to show you now is absolutely perfect every time. The first thing as a photographer, what I'm going to do, choose my aperture. That's my creative element. Today I'm going to choose 5.6. We position the light close to the subject as we can, and then we change its power to get to our working aperture. Now I've metered them already, but it means that if I go to group one, I'm using a fancy meter today, and it's the perfect way to get the exact results. It means that you can see I've metered it to 5.6. Agreed? It works. So now all I need to do is meter the background light. So in the same case, I put the dome onto the wall, point it towards this light, and now I just increase or decrease the exposure to get to my working exposure, which is our F11. That's two stops brighter than the working aperture. That is perfect height key guaranteed. I'll show you. Let's do the shot, Kels. And as I said, that's perfect high key photography. That means a white background with no detail. Remember, if you underexpose the background, it's gonna come out a little bit gray and it will print like that, I guarantee you. If you have too much power on the background, so it's more than two stops, it's gonna to start to flare backwards, start to feed back. It might not look like it on the back of your camera, you know, but I can guarantee you more than two stops, you're gonna have a problem. That was it, perfect high key photography, and it will work every time.